Now, sometimes we are told the chances of winning something, like a lottery or a raffle, but often we would like to know what would be a payout if we win. So for this first example here, we have overall, there's a 24% chance of winning a cash prize from a $1 scratch cash lottery ticket. What would be the odds against winning a cash prize from this scratch ticket? So here's our odds against winning. And we are right here. Don't forget our odds, A over B. And of course that translates to A to B. And the way to change our percentage here, here's our chances of winning, into odds is we write it as one minus the probability of winning divided by the probability of winning. Or as I like to say, the complement over its probability. So then we would have one minus, and here's our 24%. over the 24%, that's 76% over the 24%, and of course we have to change that into readable odds. So this is the same as 76 over 24. Now you can use your calculator to reduce this, but we'll just use some, some prime factorization. So if we have 76, that's two times 38 which is then two times 19, and then 24, that's two times 12, and then two times six. So then 76 over 24, that could be written as two times two times 19, and 24 can be written as two times two times six, of course, our factors are going to cancel. That's 19 over 6. And of course, we can write that as our odds of 19 to 6. There we go. Now, the next example, the odds against winning a $4,000 cash prize in the scratch cash lottery ticket game are 87 to 4. What are your chances of winning the 4,000 cash prize? So this example is kind of like the opposite of this one. Here we're given the percentage. We want to know what the odds are. Here we're given the odds. We just want to know then what are our chances of winning. So again, if we have A over B, which again translates to A to B, anytime we're going to come up with a probability, we need an overriding total. That's going to be our sample space. So we're going to add these two together. So we have A plus B. And since that's our sample space, we divide that into B. So if we have 87 to 4, then we could write this as 4 over 87 plus 4. 4 over 91, which is approximately 4.4%. And I think we have it.